everyone, it's Jake Dennis here, racing for Avalanche and Dretti Formula E, and we're gonna have a quick look at my top five favorite moments from season eight. Um, so yeah, let's get into it. It's Van Dorn on pole. So it looks like we are in Saudi Arabia for, this is the first qualifying of the year, it was me against Stoffel, so um, yeah, pretty cool to obviously first Formula E uh, new qualifying format to go straight into the final against Stoffel. He got the better hand, but uh, nevertheless, we started on the front row. Jake Dennis alongside him. All five lights are on. And we go green in Diria. Very good. I actually had a really bad start here. First race of the year and my reaction time was so poor. The lights went out so quickly, so Nick got the jump on Nick got the jump on me. They're gonna go side by side. Can Debris get up in the second place? He can. Mercedes EQ. One, two straight away. The two envision cars might have made contact. Lotterer is trying to force his way past Jake Dennis. The envisions have lost ground. Van Dorn leads, De Vries is second, Dennis is down to third. This is the chance for Jake Dennis to get back into third place. Lotta recovers the inside, Dennis tries to send in the dummy and Lotta... So yeah, obviously me and Andre are going to be teammates this year, so hopefully I won't have this issue. But um, yeah, obviously first sort of battle of the year to be honest. Uh, me and Andre, I was on attack mode and uh, he defended well, used his experience. Uh, didn't quite get the... The upper hand uh, on this battle at this moment, so I have to do it uh, on normal uh, power mode when we're both on the same. Lotterer covers the inside, sends it to the outside now, Just and Lotterer puts it in the wall. Space. Again, Lotterer and Dennis collide. Dennis is in full control. Mode three to improve efficiency, mode three. Well, the only boy on the radio. Now he's right Probably ignored that radio. Lotterer coming up towards the chicane. Lotterer covers the inside. Bit of a switch back. back. See you later, Apex. Missed that entirely. <laughs> Lotterer holds the place. Here comes Dennis up towards the chicane again. Lesson learned, I would say. He did it third time round. Fair contact. Good brother. Job done, P3, and that was. Um, yeah, pretty easy race to end. Uh, I think we pulled away by like three or four seconds. So um, yeah, solid first race of the year, P3 overall, and um, yeah, overall a great race. So probably my favourite weekend of my career, to be honest. Um, yeah, we obviously got pole position and the race win. So uh, yeah, nevertheless, couldn't really ask for much more. Uh, yeah, we got the Grand Slam. Um, and yeah, just in front of the British crowd was amazing, to be honest. I couldn't have really ask for much more. Stay one was against Stoffel Van Dorn in the final. And we got it by, what did we get it by? Tenth and a half, so pretty close, but we got the job done. Let's get the team their first pole and mine for the, uh, this year. Is, uh, yeah, so it's pretty cool, obviously, my first pole of the year, uh, and the team's first ever pole with Avalanche, so. Yeah, a lot of pressure going into the race, obviously a home race. I knew the start was really important because it's quite difficult to overtake in London, so once the start was complete, it was then just managing the two Miss Avis behind me. That was a pretty special race to be honest. We dominated the whole race. The car was insane and yeah, it was one of the best feelings ever crossing the line and you could genuinely hear the crowd as well like you could hear the crowd which made it even better uh so yeah to be able to share the moment with them was pretty special and my family and friends were there so super technical race just trying to manage stop a little nick you know they're obviously the two teammates working together so i'm dennis is on pole this was sunday um yeah we managed to put it on pole again so um, yeah, obviously another really good, really good session for myself and the team. Um, a little bit different this race. There was three attack modes, so it was a little bit more challenging for us. And um, yeah, again a good start, held the lead, uh, and then it was basically just the race between me and Lucas. Um, he definitely had the upper hand this race. He was quite fast um, when he needed to be. So it was physical, mentally as well, and just trying to. Keep everyone behind was the biggest challenge. So yeah, Nick came up right towards the end of the race with like seven minutes to go. Nick sort of came back into the race. Uh, but yeah, I couldn't quite get the job done. Lucas was really fast at this phase. It was like 10, 15 minutes to go. He sort of up the ante and beat me to the line. But nevertheless, it was a good result, good weekend. Uh, we got fastest lap in that race as well. So yeah, pole, P2 and fastest lap. We broke the record for 
the most amount of points in a double header, uh, which was 51. Mitch uh, beat it earlier in Rome when he won twice, but with all the pole positions and the fastest laps we got, we managed to uh, to beat his record, which was pretty cool. And then the final race of the year, this was probably one of the the toughest races as well because the heat was uh, was very demanding on the battery and the, and the driver. Um, and then with the penalty, which I got later in the race, which you'll shortly see, uh, which I still don't agree with, but um, yeah, we managed to get a podium. Managed to get the switch back on those two guys. That was neatly done. And then it was just, oh, here we go. This is me and Antonio, friends off track and, and on, but <laughs> some small contact there. I personally feel like I didn't deserve the penalty. Like he just didn't quite leave me enough space. Uh, I can't just go invisible. So got a five second penalty, but nevertheless, we, uh, we pulled away from everyone. Uh, I did drop down to eight on the penalty, uh, but yeah, with seven minutes to go, uh, we, up the, we up the pace and finished second on track and third overall. So, yeah, it's great to end the season, obviously, with a, with a podium, uh, three out of four podiums in the last four races. So that was pretty, pretty big turnaround for myself and the team. And to finish joint fifth in the championship and uh, sixth in the team championship was a, was a really good way to end the year and obviously go into the winter testing program with a new car. Everyone in high spirits. Uh, really looking forward to obviously the new season and um, yeah, sort of hitting the ground how we uh, how we finished last season. So yeah, they're my top five moments of the year. Um, let's try and make it top ten next year. Um, and we can try and have some more more podiums, more wins, and uh, yeah, some really good some really good memories with with the team.